So YouTube tea channels. I don't really know if there's a genre on YouTube that I have less respect for than tea channels. These people lie, they slander, they manipulate, they are not good people. And in the dark ages of the Achito channel, I actually made a video calling out one of these tea spill channels called Anna Oop. Now that video was very bad, my microphone sounded horrible, my points were lackluster, and the majority of my video was just me picking on her editing, which, you know, is bad, but really was not warranted for an entire video. Now why I'm revisiting Anna Oop today is because because I am very frustrated with what I've been seeing from her. Now, I'm not subscribed to Anna Oop, and I don't regularly watch her videos, because I feel like if I did, you know, I'd have like a five-pound brain tumor inside my head. But recently, a couple things happens with her that I just feel were so embarrassing and so irresponsible for a two million subscriber channel that I just gotta get- I, I, I gotta record this video. So, November 9th, around six days ago, she made a video titled, Roblox Has Gone Too Far, obviously trying to hop on the commentary channel wave of the Roblox kids are cringe. I don't know if she saw a viral video covering the Roblox cringe and is trying to rehash that, but anyways, she ends up making this video and this is how she prefaces it. Anna, oop, ugh. Don't ask. I've already seen all the hate videos about me on YouTube, but let me remind you that my only job here is to entertain y'all. No, that's not true. You are lying right off the bat. Your job is not to entertain. Nobody views you as an entertainment channel. You are a quasi news slash drama internet channel. Also, hey, look, it's me. Look at that. Anna Oop is the worst tea spill channel. It's funny how that aged. Sort of aged like a nice, like a fine wine. Because yesterday, November 13th, Anna Oop dropped the most ridiculous and insensitive and just, just shit video on her channel. Here's what you need to know about Travis Scott's Astro Festival. Now, I'm not even gonna explain the Astro Festival tragedy. I'm sure you guys all know what happened. Long story short, Travis Scott was performing, and a lot of people got injured at this performance, and like 10 people died. Really, just a tragedy. Like, a 10-year-old boy died. Okay? These parents are never gonna get to see their 10-year-old son ever again. So this is like real shit, okay? There's a reason why I didn't talk about it, even though I probably could have gotten some, gotten some good views. I understand that like, the loss of life is far more important than me making a couple dollars from a, a, a YouTube video. Like, I, I don't give a shit. And if me, a 100,000 sub channel that doesn't make as much money as a 2 million sub channel, has the moral compass to say, yeah, I'm gonna sit out of this one, right? She doesn't. She goes ahead and makes a video, 9 minutes and 30 seconds long, fully monetized by the way, uh, you know, maximizing profit off of a, a tragedy. With an amazing thumbnail, what do we got? Like, a couple people lying on the ground that are injured with just, you know, people getting trampled with the truth in all red. Of course, yeah, dude. This is a new level of scummy, dude. So she gets it to nine minutes to try to stuff, like, I'm guessing five mineral ads on it to get as much money as she can. But no, it's all okay because she puts some links in the description where you can donate to, I guess, the tragedy. Which I'm very willing to bet she didn't give a dollar to. Now, if you still don't think that she She's being incredibly disingenuous throughout this video. She has dramatic music playing in the background and at one point literally uses the Vine boom sound effects. Like, like, are you serious? You guys, after all the concerts I've been to in my life, I don't think I've ever witnessed something demonic and terrifying as Travis Scott's Astro Festival. Nothing like the high quality, royalty free, dramatic slash suspenseful music playing in the background while you reap the benefits of a tragedy, dude. Travis Scott, aka the guy who moans in auto tune. Ha 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 ha! Oh my god, that's so good! That, oh my god, that's clever. Oh, I'm going to kill myself. I cannot believe this is real content. But wait, it gets better. Already facing more than 18 yeah. lawsuits. Vine boom sound effect. Now, it's not like I have an inherent issue on people making money discussing certain tragic events, but there's a certain, you know, distaste that I, I feel because of how recently this has happened. This happened like two weeks ago and people are still finding out new information and how crass she's being with her coverage of this entire story. Like seriously, the Vine boom sound effect making jokes about Travis autotune and putting the generic suspenseful music in the back. Like, seriously, bro? If you want to be a scumbag and make money off of, like, a recent tragedy that just happened, at least try to pretend like you actually care about it. Like, she's so tone deaf, it's insane. I don't know if it's just because she's become, like, brainwashed into, like, acting like a tea channel all the time, but, like, bro, this is insane. Show this video to one of the parents whose child was injured at the Astro Festival. I'm, yeah, I'm sure they'd be delighted to see this. At least with some of the other videos I've seen that discuss the tragedy, they very much seem like they care. Or at least they're doing an incredible job faking that they care. It's just very hard for me to take your video about a tragedy seriously, or at least feel like you're being at all considerate when you are throwing Vine boom sound effects in your videos. Now moving on from this just horrid display of ignorance from the T-Channel, we're gonna look at another video that she made a while 
while ago about uh, Addison Rae apparently being exposed for being a Trump supporter. Now this video was made a year after the election, so who cares? I don't know. So this video is titled, Addison Rae lies about supporting Trump and gets exposed. No, because who told Addison Rae that we would totally believe her if she claimed that she isn't a Trump supporter? <laughs> Funny how it took months for Addison Rae to address the rumors about her being a Trump supporter? Yeah, dude, a damning rumor that she needs to address that she was part of the 74 million people that voted for Trump. These T channels will just run with some bullshit regardless of how stupid they sound. In what world would someone have to address rumors that they're part of a group that involves 74 million people? That's like trying to beat allegations that you're a Christian. Like, I'm not even trying to get political, I'm just talking like pure numbers. It doesn't make sense. I mean, if you really think about it, Addison would have cleared up all the accusations about her supporting Trump the second they went viral on social media. Uh, no she wouldn't. Why would- why? Why- why would she do that? No, but it's okay because if I really, really think, think about, about it, it, she would have, you know, cleared up the rumors the second they went viral. Like, if she voted for Trump and people online are like, oh, you voted for Trump, why- like, why would she say anything? Yeah. Say, buddy, get the fuck out of the way. I'm out. <laughs> But unfortunately, she decided to remain silent about it as she got approached by a paparazzi a week after she met Trump by asking her whether she's a Trump supporter or not. And of course, Addison had nothing to say. Are you still getting flack for being a Trump supporter? Oh my god. <laughs> Very sus, you know, a year after the election in which a new president has been put in office. Yeah, dude, it's so suspicious. Who cares? And like, I get it. It's a very easy video to make. You get it, it's eight minutes. You slap some ads on it, boom. What would she get? 330,000 views in this video? She probably made a thousand, maybe two thousand dollars. But Jesus Christ, a lot of what you're saying in this video is just mind numbing, bro. And I understand that a lot of her audience probably hates Donald Trump, even though they're like 12. So they're okay with the misinformation and the complete bias. But wouldn't you, as like a news channel, or a T channel, wouldn't you want to seem as non-biased as possible or as unbiased as possible? Oh. <sighs> she could have just admitted to being a Trump supporter and went on with her day without causing this huge ass mess. No, you gotta be fucking joking, right? Are you kidding me? You are the one making this a mess. This, this, nobody, nobody made this a mess but you and the T channels. The only reason this is drama is because you decided to make it drama. If you had just said, oh yeah, she's a Republican, she voted for Trump, and went on with your day, literally that's all you had to have done. It's not a Addison to address this sort of stuff, it's up to you as a supposedly level-headed person to understand that people have differences in opinions and move on with your day. Anyways though, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Buy my merch down below. Please leave a comment saying Spongebob if you made it to the end of the video and I'll try to heart your comments. Big thanks to all of my channel members as always and follow my social medias. I'll see you guys later. Peace.